Hey everyone, Ashley Bornanson here with the Red Carpet Report. Today we're at the Music Center in downtown Los Angeles at the third annual Celebration of Dance, supporting the Dizzy Feet Foundation, giving underprivileged kids a chance to dance. Good, Ashley, this is JD. Hi, JD. We're with the Red Carpet Report. So, Jeffrey, your movie just topped High School Musical in ratings. High School Musical is my favorite series, by the oh way. Oh my God, right, yeah. <laughs> so how does that feel? Did you know it was going to be so big? No, it's funny. We're, I, we're, I was talking to a friend about this the other day, uh, the first movie I choreographed with Flashdance. And at the time, we didn't know. You know, we didn't have a clue. You know, we knew we were doing something we felt passionate about, you know, and we thought we had something new. But those things like you know, Flash Dance and, and Teen Beach movie, you never know it's, if it hits a, a cultural nerve at a point in time, and happily it did, so we got lucky, yeah. What do you think makes your movie different than the rest? I think, you know, um, there tends to be a tendency in, in, in pop culture where uh, cynicism can enter into it. It's like we're so cool, like we don't have to feel anything. You know, with this, is it's a real unabashed sense of enthusiasm and joy connected to music and dance. And I think that's why people responded. You know, it's like you don't have, you know you don't have to be too cool for school to, to you know what I mean. So I think that's what, what 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 kids responded to. What do you look for when you're? Do you help like choosing the dancers? Like, what do you look for in the, yeah. these budding stars? Yeah, well, it, you know, we got so lucky with the principals uh, because generally what you want to do, especially if you know as a director, you want to make sure that the the actress can nail the character and bring that to that to, to the play, and. All four of our main of our main characters are phenomenal musical theater performers also. So it was one of those just rare things where the right people were at the right role for the right project. Yeah. And, you know, they're they're talking about a second movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you are as well. What we were asking Molly what she yeah. thinks would be cool and she's like, reversal of us going back into time instead. <laughs> so what would right. what would a sequel look like to you? God, you know, it's funny, we were talking about this the other day and, and someone said, like, you know, if they do a sequel, would you wanna do it? And I said, I'd, I want to direct this movie forever. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> is that a question? <laughs> I know, because it's like, you know, how often do you get to do something that's, you know, a full-on musical, but is also, you know, a comedy and also half period piece and half modern. So yeah. there's a lot of reasons that I'd want to do it again, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> what, what would you think you'd switch up this time? I don't, you know, I don't know what, I'm sure they're, they're talking about developing story, but what Molly said, I think it's, it's pretty funny. It's like if the... The kids from the past yeah. ended up in the, in the present. Yeah. <laughs> you know? What's your favorite part about directing? Um, on a project like this, it's, it's, it kind of comes full circle. Because the way I began choreography, I didn't start on Broadway, I started in movies. And so I learned how to choreograph for camera, very specifically. So now to be able to have control of, of, of all of that, at the same time, even though it's fairly new, it feels really organic. Was that, those, are, those are my roots. Yeah, yeah. Nice, and you know, obviously we're we're supporting um, fundraising for the underprivileged yes. people to get to do dance. Yeah. What kind of advice would you want to give for budding dancers who are just at the start of their career? I think you know, in, if for anybody that's interested in, in any of the art forms, um, is you know, is to not be afraid and to not worry about feeling judged, be it music or dance, or whatever it is. Yeah. If you can just give yourself the right to to try. You know, and then if you if you take that first step, then if you have passion for it, that'll support you, and then you won't have to be afraid anymore. So it's about overcoming that first step of being afraid. Great. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Okay. It was great talking to you. you I'm too. so excited. Oh, we we're like, oh, we get to talk to Jeffrey. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. If you like this video, be sure to like it, and for more interviews, subscribe. Leave me a comment below telling me who you think is the best dancer of all time. We'll see you next time.